Hello guys, so I'm gonna make this video about how to change the ballast and a T8 fixtures with T8 lamps. So this light that I have to change, uh, maybe you have the same situations where you have to go from a four lamp. Let's see if we can zoom in. You see right there where it says four lamps. So you might have a fixture that have four lamps and you didn't get a full lamp ballast instead you got the two lamp ballast Let's see if I can get it to zoom in so you see right there it says one or two lamps and that's the wiring diagram right there so what you have to do that sometimes if you haven't done this and um, I'm making these videos for those people that probably never changed a ballast before um, so if maybe this could help you a little bit I'm just trying to maybe give a, some help to someone out there who needs it so like like I said you got a four lamp ballast and then you got this one that's a two lamp ballast which you can also put it on a one lamp ballast so it might get confused i guess confusing when you have on this ballast the old one you see right there we got two blues and two reds coming out and then out of the other side you got the black and the white which ties into the power coming in and then you got two yellows but in the new ballast you're putting in you got the white and the black the power coming in and then you got red one and you got two blues so you kind of question yourself how are you going to tie those in to which wire you're going to tie them into so what you have to do is let's see if i can zoom this in all right so what you have to do is you got to look at the wiring diagram on the ballast the old one to see which wires were going where and then you got to look at the new one to see what wires are doing what so like you see here the blue wires they go to one side of one lamp and then that's where the two blues and the two reds so now you know that the blues and the reds they go to a single lamp right there to a single socket i guess you it'll be the tombstone so for one lamp you get one blue and then the other lamp you get another blue and then you get another red and a red so these blues that you have here now you look at in here you see the blue right there the blue it goes to one of each lamp so that's why you got to tie in let's say if you want to do the first one you can pick the two blues then you tie these wires these blues to this or the ones right here so you tie those together it doesn't matter which one goes where you just tie those individuals to those blue and then once you get the other ballast i only have one here but um if you have another one just like this so what you have to do is get these blues and hook them to the two reds right there these two reds these two blues it doesn't matter which order you just hook those together so that it'll have that taken care of so in the other end where you have these two yellows right here and then you got this red so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of those yellows and you're gonna tie it to this red but what you gotta really pay attention to is like to the side that you hook these two blues right here let's say if you pick these two blues on which side of the light um, you got to match it so it goes to the other side of one of these yellows like right here if you see right here you got these two blues right here hook into these two lamps this yellow right here it goes to this right here so that's why you got to pick this red it's got to go to those to that yellow right there you can't cross them like say this blues right here and then you hook the yellow to this ones and it's not um it's not gonna work 
I mean, it might work. I don't know, but it just do it the way this is telling you. So, um, if you do those blues there, and then you hook the yellow there, and it'll be the same thing with the next ballast. And then you just hook. Let's say if this is the other ballast, you just hook this one to the other yellow. So you just gotta match the blue ones to match with your yellow. So kind of keep them in pairs. Um, and that's basically what you have to do. Uh, just make sure, I guess, when you start doing this, if you're uh, probably never done it or you're new to this, uh, make sure that the power is off when you start working on the light. Some lights will have a quick disconnect that you don't have to turn. Let's say some places you can't really turn off the power to the lights because they need the light. So what you have to do is just open the light and sometimes they'll have a quick disconnect going to the blacks and you just uh, unplug that in so that ballast will not have power anymore so you can do all you wiring uh, without any problems or getting worried of being shocked so once you get everything put together um, you connect that quick disconnect back together and you put it in so um, I guess I don't know how I'm gonna title this video I guess is how to change a T8 ballast so for those people that maybe they're at their house and they have a let's say a light in their closet and it's out and uh, it's a two lamp ballast uh, all you have to do is just basically it'll be just wire for wire uh, and just be the same thing here um, right there you can see it just do that right there follow that if you have two lamps and if you only have one lamp you just do this and you can see right there with that blue that is showing right there you're just gonna put a wire nut in it like just cap it up and not use it so that's basically what you have to do it's not very complicated something very easy to do uh, which you know I doubt many people are gonna be really looking for videos like this but it's just something that someone can, you know, uh, like a guide to kind of, if you're not really sure which wires go where. Uh, I'm just doing this because at the beginning when I started doing this, it was kind of confusing for me. I didn't know exactly what wires I would use and not use. So, I mean, now, like I said, maybe.